Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change header font in Shopify. For example, you can see the header section right here and you can see the font style at the moment that is being used. Also, if you would like to know how to change the font size in the header section or menu option, I'll be leaving a link to that in the description or in the comment section that you could watch that tutorial also. Now, let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is go into your Shopify admin page. Once on the admin page, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on online store. After selecting online store, you are going to automatically be redirected to the themes page. Once on the themes page, you are going to tap on customize. So you are going to tap on customize beside the theme that you are using. And this is going to carry you to the editor page. Once on the editor page, as you can see right here, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option once more, and you're going to tap on the settings cog that says theme settings. After doing that, you're going to select typography. So we're going to select typography. Then you're going to see headings and you'll see font. Then you can tap on change. After tapping on change, you can see the different font options that you have. So for example, let's say I were to select this one, you can see the effect right there that the font has now changed. And if I were to select another font, for example, this one right here, by tapping on it, you will see that the font style has changed once more as you can see right there. And you can scroll down and you can see that there are numerous fonts that you can choose from. So all you will need to do is scroll down and if you would like to load even more, you could tap on load more and you can see other font styles that you can choose from. So once you have found one that you like, you will simply tap on it. Then all you will need to do now is simply tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once the changes have been saved, you are going to tap on the X right here. And after doing that, if you would like to make any other changes, as you can scroll down. And from here, if you would like to, for example, change the font style of the body, you can do that. You can also see the font size scale right here. So you can adjust that if you would like it to be bigger. So if you would like the font to be a bit bigger, you can carry it across to the right. And you can see that the font size has now increased in the header section. Some other editing options that you can also do in the header section is, for example, let's say we were to go back. So let's tap on sections once more. Once in sections, if you were to tap on header right here, after tapping on header, you can also adjust the logo positioning. So you could tap right where you see top center on my screen. So for example, if you'd like to position the logo to the top left, you can do that. Or if you would like it to be middle center, you can also position it right there. You can also change the menu option by tapping on change right here. Or you could remove the menu if you have more than one menu. You can also change the menu style. At the moment, you can see that I'm using the drop down menu style. But let's say I would like to change it and I would like to use the side stacked option. All I'll need to do is simply tap on draw and you can see it right there. So from now on, visitors to my website will have to tap on the three dashes in the top left hand corner to access the menu. And if you would like to use a sticky header, you will simply scroll down right where you see sticky header. You would tap right there. And if you would like it to always be you could tap on always so the header section will always be visible as you can see right there or if you would like it to only be available on scroll up you could select on scroll up so once scrolling up you will see the header section and you can always reduce logo size you could select that if you want another option that you could also do you could remove the black line if you want so all you need to do is tap right where you see show separator line. You would simply untick that if you would like to remove it. You can also change the text color of the header section. All you need to do is go right where you see color scheme. Then tap on edit. 
After you have tapped on edit, you could select text. And if we would like to change the text color to, for example, blue, we could do that. And you can change it to whatever color you want. You can also change the background color, but keep in mind that this will change the background color of your entire theme. So for example, if we were to select red as our background, you can see that it changes the background color for the entire theme instead of just the header section only. I will also be looking into a video on how to change the background color of the header section only in the future. And once you're finished with all of your editing, all you'll simply do is tap on the X right there. If in the future you'd like to add a country or region selector, you can simply tap right here to enable it. So once persons visit your website from other countries, they'll be able to choose their country right there. You can also enable language selector if you want, and you can also edit the mobile layout for your logo. So if you would like the logo to be positioned on the left on mobile, you can do that. Or if you would like it to be positioned in the center on mobile, you can do that. And you can also scroll down and from there you could tap on theme settings and you could scroll down and you can see other theme settings right here. So let's say for example, you can see that we have the cart pop up right here. And by the way, if you would like to change your cart icon, you can watch a tutorial on how to do that. If you would like to change it from the pop up to a draw, you could tap on that. Or you can also add right where you see Twitter. I have added my social media platform as you can see right there, the social media icon. If you would like to add other social media icons, you can do that. All you'll need to do is simply paste in your profile URL and you can also add a logo if you want. Once everything is there like in, all you'll need to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes. And you can also add an announcement bar. If you'd like to add an announcement bar, you can also do that by tapping right where you see add section. Then from there, you could select the announcement bar and you'll be able to add an announcement bar as you can see right there. So you could edit the announcement bar to add anything you want. You could simply tap right there. You can change the text if you want. And if you would like to link it to an external page, you can do that. Or if you would like to link it to a page on your Shopify store, you can also do that by searching for the pages right here. And again, once you're finished editing, all you need to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.